today you have a choice. You either get to hear about my mother or two tales about my vagina, one of hilarious tragedy and the other, <laughs> vagina, you wanna hear about the vagina? Okay, well here, vagina, okay. Okay, so this literal hot mess, um, I want to preface this story by saying that I, um, I had to pass an IQ test to get into my school. Um, I'm a classically trained pianist. Um, I graduated with a 4.2 on a 4.0 scale. And all this is to say that just because you're smart doesn't mean you ain't stupid. Um, so I moved here like, let's say about 15 years ago, and when I got up here and I'm like, I'm grown, nobody can tell me what to do. My mama's at home, nobody knows me here, I can walk the fuck out. Um, I started dating, as one does when they move to the Bay Area, since there was a whole plethora of people that I could date now, and I had just moved from the South, so I could be open about being queer and everything, and then I wouldn't have to hear my mother. <sighs> she sprays me in the face with holy water sometimes. Uh, <laughs> like, and I hiss every single opportunity. <laughs> Still standing, mother. Uh, uh, so, so yes. Yeah, so I was like, this is great. So I, I got on OK Cupid or OK Stupid, as we tend to call it, um, and I line up this date, and I go out with this wonderful, amazing uh, human being. And I'm thinking, as long as they don't open their mouth too much, we're gonna fuck. Um, <laughs> But you know, it's after appetizers and they started to get chatty, so I decided maybe I should drop a hint, a subtle hint that I'm interested and that we could go all the way. So I, I lean across the table and say, let's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they pick up my hint, <laughs> my genteel delicate hint, uh, and we, we uh, travel back to their place. But before I left, I had ordered my dinner because a girl likes the dinner. Um, and we were at TJIF Friday because I thought, why not go someplace with ambiance? Uh, <laughs> and I got my favorite uh, thing there, which was anything in the Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. You remember that, the honey? <laughs> that honey Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. It was like chicken, shrimp, like fish, like, like freaking beef. It was what was for fucking dinner. And I. I love that shit, so I was like, I'm gonna take an extra little, you know, little, little sample <sighs> with me. We get back to their place, and we're making out. It's hot, because they've stopped talking. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I excuse myself and say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself a little tasty for you. I retire to the restroom with my purse which has my little doggy bag in it. <laughs> which has my barbecue sauce in it. And I uh, think this is a good idea. <laughs> As I scoop my fingers into this thing and then just slather it all over. I did not dab. I did not grace. I just went full like labia, like we're gonna just do this whole like, rah, rah, like rub it, rub it in. Hi, hey, I'm just talking about hot sauce in my vagina. Um, so I scurry back outside and I'm like, I'm tasty for you, and I, I and I get on the bed, and um, that's when it starts to tingle, and I'm like. <laughs> My logical mind is like, okay, I fucked around with that KY jelly you could get at CVS, like the one with the little menthol liptus or whatever, and it starts to tingle. I'm pretty sure that we are gonna reach a plateau. It's, it's not that bad, we're gonna keel out, we're gonna even out, I just need to give it some time. It's gonna be fine, like logically, like why would they give something that can burn? And then my brain is like, science, case, and oh shit, oh! It had been a while since I've had sex as well. I should, I should mention that. And uh, do you know how like when you haven't had your legs apart for a long time, you have not been doing yoga or Pilates <laughs> and you get that inner thigh leg cramp going on? 
So I am <laughs> under stress. And I love your face, dude. Your face, right? You look so like uncomfortable. Like this is horrible. We have, um, <laughs> so my leg starts to cramp up and I'm screaming and I'm wriggling on the bed. Um, and my poor date, they're like, Oh my God, what do I do? And I'm like, it's burning, it's burning, it's burning. Like, my vagina feels like the wicked witch of the, witch of the West. It's melting, there's smoke involved. And, uh, and so they're down there. They are down there. And they think that they could help me by getting it off me faster with what they have, which is their mouth. So they're like, bleh, bleh, bleh. Like, really in it to win it. And um, this, this, this beautiful human being happens to as well be, be bearded and sometimes stuff gets trapped in beards <laughs> you know and then it just I now I will never understand so my asshole's on fire now <laughs> it just looks like and, uh, and my leg is cramping up and I'm just trying to push them away and my leg is cramping and this person like thought that they were going to get it. They knew that they were going to get it. So they had prepared their bed and their bed had satin sheets on it. Not with an I, with an E. Satin. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sheets. Um, and so I slide off of the bed and I like hit my head on the nightstand and I reorient myself and I'm like crawling like apocalypse now into the bathroom. <laughs> Um, and I get there, and I'm like, and they're outside the door, and I'm kind of embarrassed, so I don't open the door. Um, and I'm like running the water, and I'm a big girl, so the water has to come up a little bit to, to get where it needs to get. And this person lived with uh, three bachelors, and I'm a Virgo. <laughs> I don't know if you know how Virgos roll, <laughs> but we're very sensitive about our environments. And I can see under the sink, you know, under, you know how under the, t you know what it's like, under the, like, the tub, the little ring in the tub, and it's like, yeah, like, yeah, and I'm sitting there, the water's rising, my vagina's screaming, and I'm just, and the water hits the undercarriage of this thing, the way I wish it was hitting my undercarriage, and I could just feel the mold trekking towards me to colonize my poor, injured pussy. The moral of the story is don't. <laughs> Just don't. Um, so that's tale, tragic tale one about my, about my vagina. There's others, but I'm gonna end this on a high note. So, <laughs> anybody here kinky? Woo! Yay, my people. So the, uh, uh, two years ago was the first time I ever went to IMSL, which is International Miss Leather. And it was in San Jose, and I was going with my friend, and it was going to be great. And I get there, and we're, we're talking, and she's saying everything that she's going to do. And, and she says, so I'm going to get fisted. And um, I'm like, oh, I, I've never been. I've never been fisted. And she shouts, you've never been fisted? <laughs> um, and it echoes out into the lobby of the Doubletree. Uh, <laughs> fun and it's like a siren call because it calls over two other women <laughs> who I've met in passing who are now at our table saying I, who's never been fisted <laughs> like someone's never been fisted here you've never been fisted and all of a sudden it's their mission to fist me before Imsel is over um, which is exciting for me because it's like oh great now it, it felt like a like a like a tea party that was being <laughs> was being planned, we're gonna have a fisting party. Um, so we make a time and we're gonna meet like at 11 o'clock in the dungeon near this one swing and back and, and I go to my room and I prepare myself and it's so lovely, I feel like I'm going to prom. And uh, I get down to the swing and I'm there on time. The one time I was on time, I was there on time. Um, on my knees in front of this swing just waiting. And it's 11 o'clock and it's 11.05 and it's 11.10. It's 11.15, and all of a sudden, it's too much like prom. Meow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, therapy. Um, and so uh, eventually, they show up, and they get me into this sling, and uh, 
they touch me. And they rub me down with oil. And they say loving things in my ear. And they stroke my hair. And I'm surrounded by these three women in this body that has not had love, that has not been touched, that has either been fetishized or shunned or told that it wasn't good enough, that I had no value. And I was being treated like I was precious. And one girl had the Hitachi, and I. <laughs> and my brain and my body is caught in two different places. My brain is in this place of, of, oh my God, this is happening. This is really going to happen. How are they going to logically get their fists in there? Like, is it spread? I know it's flexible and elastic, but it's never happened. I'm going to be able to walk straight after this. That's why I don't care. I'll just drink. Um, and then. My body's freaking out because it's never been touched so tenderly. It's never been treated as if it was lovable. Lovable. All this lovable. Naked, oiled up, on a swing, legs spread wide open, and they are loving me. And she gets a finger inside, and another finger, and another finger, and another, and a thumb. I lost count. <laughs> we are wrist deep and I'm terrified that this body that has not been loved is somehow broken that I won't be able to climax or orgasm they're expecting me to squirt I have to do a good job I have to prove to them that they are doing a good job and one of the women looks me in my eyes and says just breathe just let it happen and the closer and closer I get, the further and further I back off of it until she's between me and the wall, trying to keep me from escaping, going, girl, you just gonna take this shit, you just gonna take this shit, take this shit, take this love, take this love. And I climax, I come, I squirt, and even though I could do that, I squirt. All the while, they are singing. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> Harmony. <laughs> and I know that I'll never look at Disney movies the same way again, one. And two, that moment two years ago at 33 years old, was the first time that I, as a fat, black, queer, femme, had experienced being a value. And it's something that I've never forgotten, and it's something that spills out into my every day. And now that I know what it's like to be touched like that, I'll never accept anything less. And I will always touch other people the same way. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>